Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get raw Facebook followers in 2022. So I'm going to walk you through the right step to follow in order to get unique and authentic Facebook followers. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel so that you get alert anytime I upload a new content on my YouTube channel. So this is my official. I want to increase this to around 10k. There are several ways you can promote your Facebook. You can promote to get engagement. You can promote to also get Facebook likes. So this particular one is for link clicks. Okay, so let's see how you can easily promote to get Facebook likes and follow. So this is my official page. When you open the page that you manage as administrator, Facebook will give you several options to be able to promote your page. You can see we have the promote button over here. So let's just click on this. You can also do this using the Facebook ads manager. So in this case, I'm just going to click on this and if you have a page, you should be seeing this as well as the admin of the page. So let me just click on promote. Click on the promote. It's going to take you to, to this page where you have to choose the type of ad you want to run. Okay, you can boost your Facebook post. You can boost your IG, that's Instagram post. You can also create auto ads. Okay, so in this case, we want to set up a likes for our page or followers. So we have to click on create what new ad. On this page that creates ad, you need to set up your audience. You need to know the target audience. It's very important to get a very unique traffic for your business. So let's assume mine is about web IT. So I have to target the right audience for this particular ad. So over here, the default is auto. So I'm going to change this to page likes. So click on change and then select what get more page like so that's what we want to do that's our main goal for this particular tutorial okay so over there after you do that just make sure you save that by clicking on save page and i just give a short description it should have been too much so let's say just like and follow our page for all your it related services just write something short for that so i'm just going to type that as the description for this So this is a short description for this particular ad. Like and follow our page for all your IT related services. So this is going to be the description for this particular ad. So this is just going to be the preview of how your ad is going to appear to viewers. So this is what you will see. And then you can see we have the like button over here. This will cause people to like your Facebook page. So down here, we can see we also have the like button over here, like page. And then we need to also target audience. Which kind of countries do you want? As a young business, you are not going to so advise you promote your ad in countries that it will cost less to run ad. If you are targeting a country like US, you're going to pay more for page likes. So we have to target a country that the likes will be very low. But we'll target audience that will be interested in what exactly we are doing. So over here, audience details, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to target just three countries for today. Okay, then the age as well. Mostly, you can check your page inside and look at the engagement range per age. So mostly, I reduce mine to around 50, between 18 to 50 years. That is what I do. And then I'm going to target the location. So the location, just go ahead and then target. So I'm going to type Nigeria, Kenya, and then Ghana. You can target any country of your choice. But like I said, there are countries that you have to pay more for likes. Okay, because those countries have very expensive pay per page like okay so as a small business you may not have big budgets and you can start with countries that you have to spend less to get page likes so i'm going to include kenya select the countries of your choice and for now i'm using only three countries and then you also need to target the interest for this particular ads. Okay. People who are interested in what exactly you are doing. So, into fashion design, you have to type those at a little targeting option. Okay. Remember, if you 
lower the age below 18 you may not be able to do the details targeting so at least 18 and above so in my case you can see i have graphic design is suggesting some data targeting for me so i want quality traffic so i have to make sure i target the exact audience that i want so i want people who are interested in computer they are interested in computer programming they are interested in technology so you can just type that in the search button and then you can get the best out of your ad campaign so in this case i'll just say maybe computer science you just have to type something related to your business so you're going to get a lot of suggestions from the list okay you're going to get a lot of suggestions that you can pick from and once this is related to your business you can easily select that so you're going to get people who are interested in exactly what you are doing so this is the suggestions that i have over here web developer somebody who is interested in computer i have to select all this so these are things that i want i just have to select the suggested one and then if you want more you can just click over here the targeting option and then type more so it's going to give you the estimated audience size you're going to get from this particular audience that you're targeting so for now i'm having a range between 26.5 million to 31 31.2 million so you can target more and get people who are interested in what exactly you are going to offer them so our web developer i can also type web design Remember, web development and design are basically not the same. So let me see web design. So there's also people with that interest as well. So you can do detailed targeting for this. And then let's go ahead and then click on save audience. So this is basically going to give you quality traffic. People who are interested in exactly what you are doing, what your business is about. You get the best targeting and then you can go ahead and then set the duration so down here we have the duration for this ad you can set the duration you want to run this ad so i just want to do this for just for this and then you have to target your daily budget for this ad and also you notice that there's estimated daily results so then what i have now if i want to run five dollars per day then i should be getting between 18 to 63 page likes per day okay and it's going to reach between 2200 to 6000 plus people per day okay and this is the total budget i'm going to spend 25 dollars but in this case you can reduce it as a small business you can just go like let's say two dollars per day okay and then two dollars per day is basically going to reduce the amount of traffic that you're going to get okay or page likes you're going to get you're going to be getting between 922 to around 2700 when you use to two dollars per day and you are getting just between 7 to 31 likes page likes per day and you are spending ten dollars in total for the five days if you are okay with this we also have the placement option currently this ad will be placed just on facebook so you can just select that and then you choose if this is connected to other platform you can easily do that and for now i just want to run this on just facebook and then click on what promote now So you, you wait and then this ad will be submitted successfully. So this ad has been su submitted and Facebook will review and then pro approve this ad. But before Facebook uh, preview this, I go towards the ad center. I click on this. This is the ad center. Give me a preview of my ad <laughs> that I'm running and then that the one that is in review. What I'll do is that I'll just click and go back to the Facebook homepage. And I want to go to my ads manager and i'll show you something you need to do in order to expand your audience back to your facebook home page just go to the right option and click on what that's the right sidebar and then click on ads manager from the ads manager what i do is that i mostly edit this ad and do one final thing so this is promoting as you check this is the page i'm promoting it's still in review so i'll go ahead and then click on edit and I'll do one final thing. So what happens is that when you open this page, even though your ad has been submitted, if you want to do any changes to your ad, you can still do that on this page. Okay. You can still do that right here on this page. So you have option to even change the budget that you are using. But I just want us to do one final thing that will even increase the audience size. So we'll go to the second option over here. That's after promoting, just click on the second option. 
So when you click on the second option, we can you can see a preview of our which is around 26,000 to 31,000 at the moment. Now we want to scroll down and we can see our country, the target country, the age, and then the little target. You can still do all those changes at the ads manager. But what I, what I want us to do is the place the placements. We are going to change it from manual to what auto, which is recommended or auto placement. That is what I mostly do. When I change that, it actually expand my audience size. So between 26 to 31, I'm likely going to get a higher audience size. So I just switch this to what auto placement. So just switch this and you're going to reanalyze your audience size. So this option mostly improve on your size a bit to add some few numbers to that and so it will be used by Facebook. So use auto placement to maximize your budget and help show your ad to more people. That's what Facebook is recommending. So if you want to just place your ad on a specific place, you can go for the manual placement. But I recommend you go towards auto placement. Basically, if you just submit your ad to be at the manual placement, just go to your ads manager and click and then change this to auto placement and this will make your ads even more effective so once this is done just click on submit facebook will just review your ad when it follows facebook rules and regulations facebook will go ahead and then approve this ad and then it will run and then you should be getting your result as expected so this is basically how to get the quality traffic and then we have several ways you can get the type of audience you want we have the detailed targeting. Remember to like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notification for more ads or more videos like this. This is now all you have to do is to wait and relax for Facebook to review and then approve your ads to go live. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. Like, come your way again. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notification. Bye bye.